This is my yard. This is my yard. What kind of grapes you got? I have five different kinds of grapes. Okay. I have Thompson Green, uh -huh. um, Princess White, uh, Flame Seedless, Black Manuka, and Blueberry. <laughs> I've got two apples, two apricots, four plums, one blueberry, one peach, uh, a pomegranate, a guava, a loquat, two different kinds of figs, two different kinds of tall mulberries, two small, mul two dwarf black mulberries, um, and that's my trees. Oh, and then the grapes. And then um, peas and, and squash and asparagus and, and zucchini and, and cantaloupe and... Um, yeah, whatever else worked. <laughs> and all in an HOA in Northern Phoenix or yeah. Peoria. Well done, Janice. The blue is desert bluebell. It's not edible, but it is my favorite color, so I encourage it to grow wherever the hell it feels like growing on. It's huge. It's huge. It's Because they'll dry like that, and, yeah. and I don't like that, so I'll pull out the, I'll chop it back. Encourage some of the seeds. Okay. So all this green under the trees is a Mexican primrose. Yep. And by the time you guys come next time, it'll all be pink. There you go. I planted about a teaspoon of seeds. Um, four teaspoons of seeds, like six years ago. If she were to pull this out right now, then because none of the seeds have matured, then the chances are less that it will come back. There might be old seeds here that didn't germinate this year, but that are just kind of hanging out waiting for their turn gotcha. to germinate. But most times in order for um, most times you have to let the wildflowers go to seed first before you yank them in order for them. It's kind of a lower trellis. So the grapes, when they're ripe, they like hang down from the bottom, but they're still like manageable. You can still reach them from, from the top. Look, they have little bitty babies on them already. Little babies. An artichoke when it's younger. Okay. It's not quite like as big as the ones that we saw yesterday. Right. Um, so that one may not make anything may not make fruits and before it gets too hot for it to like little solar lights looks like it there's all kinds of little solar lights all over there yeah it makes it kind of magical little great babies little great babies but when it does it will be so does this pink that pink right to your right is it a uh, like an anti-insect kind of thing or? Hmm. 
hormones, primrose. Primrose. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, this is the Mexican evening primrose. So oh, it's a little yeah, different yeah. than the English evening primrose. Does it have any kind of herbal advantage? You know, that's a really good question that I don't know the answer to.